What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko. Do you guys see this big smile on my face? I have a big smile because I'm going to be showing you guys Crystal Beast combos that you need to know to play this deck competitively in today's format. In yesterday's video, I actually showed off the deck profile. In today's video, we're going to be showing off all the combos that you need to know. Now this deck makes some pretty insane combos, but you know what else would be insane? If you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content, guys, I upload five days a week here. We do all kinds of content, deck profiles, combo videos, product openings, all that good stuff is on the channel so why aren't you subscribed why are you not subscribed are you not subscribed guys subscribe now but with that being said crystal beast is an insanely fun deck this deck can combo like crazy and in yesterday's video i showed you guys how to play defensive cards to make sure the combo goes off and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys two card combos that end on insane boards so i hope you guys enjoy and with that let's get into the combos all right, so in yesterday's video, I got to show you guys a Crystal Beast combo variant deck profile. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some combos that you need to know to play this deck competitively and be able to maximize the potential of the deck. However, I want to say that one thing right here is you guys are looking at the deck profile. So this is the exact same list that I showed you guys yesterday. It's 42 cards in the main deck. However, there is an argument if you guys want to play Bridge of Salvation as well as Necro Valley. I chose not to play it in the deck profile, even though Necro Valley on top of your full combo would be insane. The reason I chose not to play it is because we're not playing Foolish Burial Goods, so it's going to be a lot more difficult to resolve your Bridge of Salvation. You can technically send it off of your Awakening, but most of the time Awakening, if you don't have Bridge, is going to want to get you into Rainbow Bridge. So for that reason, I decided not to play it. I just wanted to let you guys know if you guys wanted to try this out, you guys can play these two as well. But with that being said, let's get into some combos. All right, so here we're into the combos, and this is a two-card combo. Doesn't matter what the other three cards in our hand is, it's just a two-card combo. But I will say Crystal Bond is just a one-of in the deck, so you can do this exact same combo with Awakening plus Rainbow Bridge, because Rainbow Bridge is going to get you to your Crystal Bond. And we're playing three Rainbow Bridge, right? So this combo is the same exact combo, whether you're opening Awakening plus Bond or Awakening plus Rainbow Bridge, it's the exact same thing. So we're going to start off doing, this is the most basic of combos, and I'm going to show you guys how this combo gets even better better if you just add a crystal beast name to this exact same combo but let's just say that we only have these two cards the other three cards in our hand are hand traps let's see where we can go with this right what you're going to start off by doing is you're going to actually start off by activating your crystal bond adding a sapphire pegasus to your hand and then crystallizing your zenith all right zenith of course is very important to crystallize here because you're going to activate its effect you need an ultimate crystal monster in your hand so that you can resolve awakening or even activate awakening i should say so for that reason you're going to use the zenith here specialist topaz you can summon any name it doesn't really what matter what name is you just want to summon any name and then you're going to get to add a rainbow dragon from your deck to your hand then what you're going to do is you're going to normal summon your sapphire pegasus activate its effect to then crystallize another sapphire pegasus crystallizing another sapphire pegasus gives you access to awakening which then lets you special summon a ruby carbuncle from your deck all right the reason you want to do it this way is because you don't have an extra normal summon at this point imagining this is your only hand so adding rainbow bridge doesn't really do much for you so in this case you're going to be wanting to special summon your ruby ruby is going to actually get to activate here which is going to summon your sapphire pegasus and then sapphire is going to trigger and you can technically place anything at this point with sapphire pegasus however i think the best thing to play in this exact same situation is another zenith the reason for that is because zenith is really good on your follow-up turn so that's why you want to be playing the second one here but technically you could crystallize any other of the crystal beast names this is just the best one and then from here you guys could do a lot of different things depending on what the matchup is right but in this case like really we could just go into ip and then here what we can do is we can go into dweller right this is pretty much the best thing to go into if you're playing against something like a tier limit matchup because dweller pretty much shuts off that entire deck and then you can use ip plus the dweller into a unicorn and you can pitch the rainbow dragon that's in your hand or any of the other three cards in your hand to go into unicorn and shuffle a card your opponent controls so you could do the unicorn play you could just actually leave the two crystal beasts up and then go into apollo apollo is another good card that you can go into so there's just so many different options i just showed you guys this option because against today's format if you're ending on a dweller against a tier limit player you're in a really good position all right so for our second combo over here i'm going to be showing you guys the exact same two card combo but any crystal beast name in your hand so it can literally be anyone preferably topaz amber or cobalt you really want the level threes in deck specifically ruby but technically this could be any other crystal beast monster and you'll be really really good to go all right so this is really important so let's just see what we can do with this combo now just adding a crystal beast monster to your hand you're gonna see how much further this can go so we're gonna do the same thing as earlier use crystal bond add a sapphire crystallize the zenith this is all good to go right we're gonna activate the zenith we're gonna summon a tortoise the special summon of the level three here is actually really important 
important. You can summon Tortoise or you can summon Amethyst Cat. Doesn't really matter as long as it's level three, but summoning level three is really important for your combo that you guys are gonna see. And then we're gonna add Rainbow Dragon. Now that we have Rainbow Dragon in our hand, we can actually use the Awakening this time not to special summon a ruby but to add a rainbow bridge from our deck to our hand and why that's really important is because now you're going to get two normal summons you guys can see we have two crystal beast monsters in our hand so we're going to use both those normal summons all right so here what we're going to do is you're going to use the rainbow bridge and then you're going to normal summon the sapphire as usual you're going to activate the sapphire and crystallize another sapphire pegasus you're going to abuse the sapphire pegasus effect this turn because it's really really powerful then what we're going to do is we're going to activate the rainbow bridge to pop our sapphire pegasus so so that we can add a crystal spell or trap card from our deck to our hand pop the sapphire and then search the crystal beacon now beacon is going to give us access to the ruby carbuncle that we had in our last combo but this time we actually have two sapphire pegasus to be summoning out so we're going to be summoning our ruby carbuncle going to use its effect of course and then we're going to summon two sapphire pegasus from our crystallized zone i keep saying crystallized zone it's our spell and trap card zone but i'm just so used to saying crystallized because that's technically what happens in the anime so anyways they go into spell and trap card zone we special summon our sapphire pegasus we're going to use both effects here and you're gonna get two names out of the deck all right so here because we have the cobalt eagle we're gonna use the amber mammoth and the topaz tiger but if you draw topaz then you just get amber plus cobalt you guys can see how it goes right so if you open any one of these you just get the other ones and then you're gonna use a ruby and the tortoise to go into cherubini cherubini is really important for this combo because at this point once you activate the cherubini you're gonna be sending the other level three that's in your deck right so we're gonna be sending the amethyst cat now if you summon the amethyst cat you can send the tortoise it doesn't really matter which one's which but i'm just saying you have to send the level threes right Right? okay so cool so at this point we have all the names now in our hand field or graveyard sapphire pegasus amber mammoth topaz tiger cobalt eagle we have amethyst cat emerald tortoise as well as ruby carbuncle all in our graveyard of course the cobalt's in our hand but the really cool thing is that rainbow bridge gives us an extra normal summon so for that reason you're gonna get the extra normal summon and then now you have access to summon your rainbow dragon at any point in this combo first thing you're gonna to want to do here is you're gonna link away the cobalt as well as the cherubini to go into your cross sheep then what we're gonna do is gonna go into dugaris dugaris uses effect to summon the ruby back from our graveyard and then we're gonna get to use the ruby effect here which is really powerful so we're gonna summon the amber as well as the topaz so you guys can see we can just spam monsters on our side of the board with the ruby carbuncle which is really powerful but here we're gonna go into our gallant granite use the gallant granite effect to search our gigantus okay technically Technically, if you already drew the Gigantus in your hand, this is a three card combo, right? But if you drew the Gigantus, you don't even have to go into this step. You can go straight into like something like an Apollo with these four cards. You don't have to go into this if you drew it, but this can also search in Nibiru if you wanted to, right? Here, we're gonna use the Ruby, the Gallant Granite to make an IP Masquerina. IP is of course really powerful. And then because we have all names in our graveyard, we can just special summon our Rainbow Dragon. So now that our Rainbow Dragon is special summoned, we can contact fuse it away into a Rainbow Over Dragon, which is going to trigger our Cross Sheep effect. So here we're gonna trigger the Cross Sheep now. And at this point we have nothing crystallized, so we won't actually need to be summoning the Ruby back, but we're gonna be summoning the Sapphire back from our graveyard. Activate the Sapphire effect to crystallize the Zenith. Again, Zenith gives you a follow up on your next turn. You've used the Dugaris effect, so you actually skip your main phase one for your next turn doesn't matter because you guys are going to see the board that we put up we're going to be able to otk our opponent but i'm just saying because of dugars we get to skip our main phase one we go straight into our battle phase but that's no problem all right so here what you're going to do is you're going to banish the gallant granite from our graveyard to special summon the gigantus that's just the free special summon for you now what do you have two more level fours on the board and then here you have access to your dweller now this could be tornado dragon if you know you're playing against the back row deck it could be tornado dragon dweller is just the one i show you guys because tier is going to be one of the best decks in the format so for that reason we're making dweller but it doesn't matter what you make any rank four toolbox monster is really good here but we have ip plus dugaris plus cross sheep plus over dragon at this point plus dweller but it doesn't end there because we skip our main phase one we actually want to summon our overdrive this turn because it puts the body up on a board for us it's technically another form of disruption here but the thing is with overdrive it's 11k so as soon as it comes back to us we go straight into the battle phase and we boom attack with the overdrive which is insanely powerful so look at this at this point we can use ip effect on our opponent's turn with cross sheep as well as dugaris to make an apollo so that's going to be an apollo with three negates we're going to have dweller which is going to shut off our opponent's entire graveyard worst case scenario we have over dragon and overdrive to use their effects to tribute themselves to shuffle everything back into the decks and then what ends up happening is overdrive is going to trigger summon back all your crystal beast monsters so if your opponent ends their turn after you shuffle it all back you're going to have five crystal beasts on your side of the field you're going to be able to otk regardless so no matter what this board is insane because it puts up multiple disruptions well let's count it again so we have the apollo with three the dweller is four and the overdrive is five all right so that's five technically also you could make underworld goddess with this board because you 
have one, two, three monsters, Underworld Goddess just needs four. So as soon as your opponent commits something to the field, you can use IP to make Underworld Goddess. That's just another option for you. Th that's so many disruptions. And that's the same two card combo. All you need to do is just add a Crystal Beast to the mix. All right, so you guys thought that last combo was crazy. Oh, let me show you guys this combo. So this is essentially the exact same combo. You're going to end on a very similar board. However, that last combo needed three cards because you need two cards plus a Crystal Beast name. This one only needs two cards. If you open your Crystal Bond or you open Rainbow Bridge, which gets you to Crystal Bond. So either way, I just wanted to show you guys Crystal Bonds to skip the extra step. But Rainbow Bridge gets you to Crystal Bonds. So it's the same thing. Plus your Rainbow Bridge of the Heart. You are in such a good position. The other three cards in your hand can be hand traps. They, they can be hand traps. It does not matter. These two are all you need to combo off. So what we're going to start off by doing here is, of course, activate a Crystal Bond. This is pretty much the first thing you always are going to want to do. And then you're going to search your Sapphire and you're going to crystallize a Topaz. You're not going to crystallize a Zenith just yet. The reason for that is because we actually don't have Awakening. Awakening needs you to use a Zenith first to get Rainbow Dragon to your hand. But in this case, you don't need the Rainbow Dragon in your hand. So you're actually just going to crystallize any name in your deck just because you need the extra cards in your Spell and Trap card zone. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to normal summon our Sapphire Pegasus. I mean, at this point, we use our Rainbow Bridge. It doesn't really matter. You can do this later in the combo. I just wanted to show you guys that it doesn't matter which step first. But as long as you're summoning your Sapphire Pegasus, it doesn't matter because you still have an extra normal summon regardless. So, you know, you're going to use the Sapphire Pegasus effect. And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to crystallize another Sapphire Pegasus. And then what you're going to do is you're going to activate Rainbow Bridge to pop the monster on your side of the field, crystallize it, and get a Crystal Beacon. Do you guys see how many cards are in our Spell and Trap card zone right now? Because what's going to happen is you're going to use your Crystal Beacon, special summon a Ruby Carbuncle, which is now going to get you three special summons. You're going to summon your Topaz and your two Sapphire Pegasus, all right? So your Topaz, your two Sapphire Pegasus, and then your Sapphire both are going to activate. One is going to crystallize a Zenith, and the other is just going to crystallize another name, preferably a level four. Again, you want the level threes in deck to special summon later because you want to make Cherubini, right? So you want to get all your level fours out on the board as fast as possible. And now we can use the Zenith effect. We're going to get to special summon our Tortoise, which again is our level three, and then get a Rainbow Dragon into our hand perfect everything is set up we have five monsters we have a crystallized amber we're good to go what we're going to do now is use the two level threes our ruby as well as our emerald tortoise to go into our cherry beanie cherry beanie is going to let us dump the last name which is our amethyst cat and all that we're missing now the last card we're missing is a cobalt eagle as part of our combo but again we still have an extra normal summon right we're going to use the topaz tiger as well as our sapphire pegasus here to make a dugaris and we're going to detach two to special summon from our graveyard and we're going to summon our sapphire pegasus this is is really important because this is how you get access to your cobalt eagle now so this is going to crystallize a cobalt eagle all right cool now what we're going to do is go into our gallant granite here use the gallant granite effect to search our gigantis again this is just a really good combo piece for you so now what we're going to do is going to use the cherry beanie as well as the gallant granite to go into your cross sheep then we're going to special summon our rainbow dragon use the rainbow dragon to make our rainbow over dragon now what we're going to get to do is use our cross sheep effect summon back a ruby carbuncle this time you're summoning back the ruby because you want to now use the amber as well as the cobalt eagle that are on your spell and trap card zone right so we're going to use that special summon both of them and now we have access to two more level four monsters on our side of the field which means that we have access to a rank four monster but first we're going to use the dugaris we're going to use the over dragon over dragon is not needed anymore so we're going to use that we're going to use the over dragon and then we're also going to use the cross sheep to make an apollo this way we're setting up our negates right away so now we have an apollo with three negates right here and then we're going to get to summon our gigantis right so then we can just use any two monsters one of them has to be ruby in this case we used cobalt but we can also use gigantis doesn't really matter to make our ip mascarena now we can use the amber mammoth as well as the gigantis to make dweller again you could do it the opposite way you can use gigantis for the IP it doesn't really matter which two you use as long as you have two level fours on the board at the end of it and then what we're going to do is we're going to summon our overdrive so this is a very similar combo as to our last one this one we end on three negate Apollo plus IP Masquerina plus a dweller plus our rainbow dragon overdrive now why this is really good is because again we still have three cards in our hand so we can use IP plus dweller after you use dollar effect to make unicorn unicorn is another form of disruption so we have unicorn we have cards like Apollo to be honest you can even use IP and dweller into like a phoenix if you need to pop a back row and then what's going to be really cool about that is phoenix is actually going to be co-linked to the apollo so you can pop a back row card your opponent controls against some matchups and then you can actually just get a free draw because it's co-linked phoenix being co-linked is also really good because it makes it so that apollo can't be destroyed by battle so now you have three disruptions with apollo you have a fourth disruption with ip you have a fifth disruption i guess you could say with dweller but dweller just turns off the entire graveyard for your opponent and you have six disruptions with overdrive six disruptions with a two-car combo guys 
Crystal Beast is crazy when the combos go off. This is the exact reason why we were playing Cross Out and Called by the Grave in the deck because you want the combos to resolve as much as possible. Because when they do, you get guy, you get combos like this. You get six disruptions with a two card combo. This deck when it pops off is nuts. So that is it for today's video, guys. Guys, do you see these combos? Do you see these combos now? Before anyone hits me with a oh, but the deck loses to Dark Ruler no more. That's true. I won't lie, it's true, but we are playing a rogue deck, which is typically going to lose to cards like Dark Ruler No More. However, we're trying to play it as competitively as possible, and the combo variant is a very fun variant, all right? So this deck is very, very enjoyable to play. You can take it to a locals, and if you combo off like this, there's a very high chance you're going to be winning that game. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. The combos are insanely nuts. If you guys want to see the deck profile, it was yesterday's video, so make sure to check it out. It's on the channel already. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. We upload five days a week here on the channel. Combo videos, deck profiles, duels, product openings, all that good stuff. Stay tuned to see it all because this, we do it all here. We all right, we do it all. So, anyways, make sure you guys do that. Make sure you guys subscribe. We're on the road to 8K, then to 10K. 10K is gonna happen. I believe in it. I believe in the Spanko Squad. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you with that Spanko side. Peace.